Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. And we're gonna continue on with our budget bushcraft series. To start it off, I'm gonna do show you a couple more things that I picked up at the dollar store. Like jute twine for a dollar twenty-five. And there's 164 feet of it. That's a lot of fires. Next, paracord. 50 feet of paracord for two bucks. But you gotta remember this isn't your full 550. It's only got an 80 pound load bearing on it, working weight on it. But it's still cordage for two bucks. And the last one out of the dollar store is a magnesium block with a striker and a small ferro rod on the end. Again, two bucks. Great piece for a fire kit. Next we're going to Amazon. I picked up this fuel burner stove off of Amazon for nine bucks. Comes with its own igniter. All you got to do is put it onto uh, your canister, and away you go. And for nine bucks, it'll get your coffee made quicker. And we all know, you gotta have coffee. Moving on, we're gonna go to back to the thrift stores. Uh, myself, I found that I like your basic khakis with your leg pockets and everything like that and I love Wind River it's a clothing company and I always look for it when I'm in thrift stores I got these for 10 bucks Wind River the best thing about it is they're insulated And at the same time, I found a Wind River fleece hoodie. So for 20 bucks, that's a lot warmer clothes. And at a lot better price. Now, one thing everybody likes is wool blankets. I found a lot. Um, mainly find singles and doubles every once in a while you get lucky and find a queen or you get really lucky and find a king or you can rub a golden horseshoe and find what I found which is a Hudson Bay Company four point And yeah, I picked it up at a thrift store. It's a great piece, great. We figure it's made um, in the 50s, 60s. Like wool blankets for guys that are on a budget. There's a lot of stuff that you can make out of a wool blanket. You can take a queen, fold it in half, so the bottom and up the side and that's just an extra layer you can put your sleeping bag right inside and drop your temperatures by like 10 degrees um, another thing you can do is find a couple that are matching and make yourself an anorak a wool anorak is a really good piece of equipment I've been getting good feedback on this series and I appreciate it guys um, flea markets are another place that somebody uh, posted antique stores 
all all good comments guys I really appreciate the the involvement in the series and I just want to do a couple shout outs at the end here um, the first one is Josh down at Frog Tag Sanctuary because I commented on his new knife telling him what I've got and here's my little Enzo Necker with the green micarta scales so there it is Josh and yeah my neck knife chain I do chain mail too and I make my own so uh, next I want to give a shout out to Kevin's Adventures great guy does some really cool videos you gotta check him out and the last one for this round is Rick down at Tack Hill these guys put out really good content wide range of content and some good mu music too alright guys that's gonna do it for this time always remember be safe be careful and enjoy your dirt time. Thanks a lot guys.